Hey friends, welcome back to a new class. Well, um, I believe we all are learning English. Is that so? Or maybe all of us are learning English. Or I could say we are learning English. So which is the correct one? Well, this is what today's lesson is all about. We are going to look at some expressions that are used wrongly in English. And uh, often we do not realize that we are making these small errors. But well, let's take a look at what are the basic errors that we make in our day-to-day -day lives when we speak English, okay? Now my first one is, now imagine I am uh, welcoming my guest or probably my colleagues to a dinner tonight and I say, I'd like to welcome you all tonight. Now think of it, you all, okay? You is a pronoun which stands for singular and plural, right? So if I say you, it could mean just one person or if I say you, if I look at a class and say you, it is plural as well. So here, you all is absolutely incorrect, okay? So you have two ways to put it. Either you say, I'd like to welcome you, okay? Or you could say, I'd like to welcome all of you, okay? But there's nothing like you all that is incorrect. So you either say you or you say all of you, yeah? So imagine you tell someone, I know you all are up to something. Well. That is absolutely incorrect when you address them as a group. So obviously um, you are talking in terms of plural. You say you or you can say I know all of you are up to something. So remember, uh, well in written English, please do not make this mistake. Okay, maybe in your emails or when you draft certain letters, don't say you all, say you because you is a pronoun that stands for a second person in singular or plural when you address the group. So say all of you or just say you, but do not say you all, okay? Now let's take a look at the next one. We all are waiting to see you. Now this is similar to the first one, we all. We all, what is we all? Now we is already a plural pronoun, okay? So what does we all mean? Now people use this very casually. They say, okay, we all are waiting or uh, we all uh, you know, look for, forward to meeting you. But what is we all? There is no expression as we all. Either you just say we, okay, or you can say all of us. So you say all of us, all right, where you use the object pronoun of we. Okay. Now imagine uh, you are writing an email to your client and you want to, you are representing your company and your team. So you, you write an email saying, uh, we look forward to meeting you. Okay. So you don't say we all because we represent a team. We, it's already in plural. So do not say we all. That is absolutely incorrect. Either you say we, all right, that already means a team or you say all of us. Fine. The next example, looking forward to meeting you. Well, I receive a lot of emails every day from my clients, from my students who just kind of keep in touch or there are times clients want to know something and uh, well, from my colleagues and then, you know, you receive me emails all the time and you also write emails. Now, this is a very polite thing to say when you want a prompt reply or probably you are fixing up a meeting and you want the person to know that you are very eager to meet the person. So we often write looking forward to. Now, looking forward to is the most commonly used expression, okay? But do not say looking. You always say look forward to. Okay, so look, looking is incorrect. You say look forward to meeting you or you can say we look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to uh, having a, a long term association with you. Okay, so you say look forward to and if there is a verb that follows it's an ing. So remember don't say I am looking forward to. You can say look forward to. You can say I look forward to meeting you. Okay, friends, do remember this. This is the most um, common email expression used, but unfortunately, 
people do not use it correctly. Okay, so do remember this point and be very careful when you draft your emails. Well, the next one, now we address people by names and sometimes we use prefix like Miss, Mr, Mrs, right? Now, well, I suggest either you use just the first name, okay, and you say, hi, Samantha, so do not use Miss. But sometimes you may want to address senior people with a little respect and uh, some people are really not comfortable using the first name. Then you could use, say, uh, Mr. D'Souza. Okay. So use Mr. with the last name. You never use Mr., Miss or Mrs. with the first name. Okay. So supposing you are answering the call, don't say hi, I am Mr. Richard. You say hi, I'm Richard. Or uh, you can say I'm Mr. with your last name, Mr. D'Souza. Okay. Now a small tip for all of you there. When you address a lady, okay, and you are not sure whether she is married or not, uh, so don't try using Miss or Mrs. I seriously advise you to go ahead and use the first name. But still, if you want to use the last name, it is always better to use Miss because you really do not know her marital status. Okay, so do keep this in mind. In an email, write, Hi, Peter. Don't write, Hi, Mr. Peter. Okay, just use the first name because we do not use Mr., Mrs., Miss with the first name of a person. So don't make this mistake. The next one, I'm writing to inform you I've spoken. Now, this is absolutely okay when you are speaking because we speak colloquially or informally where we say, Hi, I'm Rachna. I won't say, Hi, I am Rachna. So, this is okay in, in spoken English, but when you write, again, if you see I've written, I'm writing, do not use contractions. No contractions in emails. So you say, I am, okay. So I am writing to inform you. Or if you want to write, I have spoken to my team. Please write the full expression in written English. But again, in spoken English, you could say, I'm, okay. So I'm writing or I've spoken to. Fine friends, but do take care of it when you write an email. The next one, I could care less. Well, this is a rude uh, expression. Now, the correct one is, I couldn't care less. Now, imagine you want to express that you really don't care, okay? And if you say, I could care less, um, it means that you do care a bit or you could care less than you actually do. Uh, but you want to int intend, what you intend saying is, I couldn't care less means it doesn't bother me, it doesn't matter, like whatever, okay, I couldn't care less, like I just don't care. So this is the correct way. I have heard a lot of people using this, I could care less. I mean, really, you could care less? Good. So just care a little less. So well, this is an incorrect expression. You need to say, I couldn't care less. Well do avoid using such a sentence or an expression because this is rude no matter how angry you are or upset you are definitely not in writing because this is very rude in an email and well if uh, you want to use it when you want to say it to someone avoid saying it but if you do by chance intend being rude which you shouldn't uh, use it correctly and say i couldn't care less okay the last one, you both are intelligent people. Now, again, you both. Okay. So either you say both are intelligent people. Okay, you're talking about Samantha and Peter. Both are intelligent people. Or you, or if you are addressing them directly, you say you are intelligent, but not you both. What is you both? So either you say both or you could just say both of you. Okay, so this is how you say 
the wrong expression you both say either both or say both of you okay friends so these are a few errors that people make all the time because these are the sentences or the expressions we use every day so well do take care while using them and this brings me to the end of another lesson i'll be back soon till then continue learning continue practicing bye